rust. You wake up, you run around for a while, you gather some resources, you craft some weapons, and then you craft some more weapons, and then you make a new base, and you craft even more weapons. Crafting is the backbone of progression and rust, but what if you couldn't craft? Ooh. My main goal is to get a house. I created a checklist of the seven most important items needed. And we're gonna try and get them all. Man, how you doing? I immediately saw another naked. I followed him and he let me into his house. So I did what anyone would do and I tried to rob him. Listen man, just open the wooden door and we won't have any problems. Or this one? Or 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 yep, yeah, this one. But then uh can you open the other one too? Although he was more reluctant opening his main door. Oh you mean this one? Just, yeah that that one. After breaking one of his locked boxes, I saw a door. Oh my god, a door. We can get out of here, this is huge. But as the light diminished, so did my hope that I was going to escape at that door. So, I called it quits. Regardless, I was determined to find my first item. I ran around assaulting people and examining bases until something finally happened. Thank you. Oh shit. Ooh. Oh shit. I am excited. There it was. My first item. After finding my first item, I needed to find a safe place to store it. After exploring a cave for a while, I found an abandoned structure, and sure enough, I found two more items. I really needed to store my items at this point, so I decided to hide my items in a box under the structure in the cave. It wasn't great, but it would do. I brought out one of my hammers in order to pick up potential items that I'd find while exploring. After running around and collecting barrels and crates, I found my first tool, and it was a pretty good one too. I quickly realized how vulnerable I was without a proper weapon. After a close call with an enemy, I decided that I would need to be more conservative with my loot. I got on a horse, I made a pit stop to collect some corn, and then I headed to a recycler. With no real use for components, I was able to scrap them all. Scrap would prove useful as it would give me access to many items through shops. Oh, and on my way home, I found another small box. My house, if you could even call it that, was falling apart in front of me. I really needed to get out of there. I had to find a lock and a building plan so that I could build a small base and secure my loot. As much as I like to be peaceful, any naked could have loot that I needed. I found a twig base with some more small boxes. Although the key lock was taunting me, so I took my anger out on the base. It didn't make me feel any better though. Immediately after destroying that innocent structure, I was punished. But after a few suicides, I was able to spawn nearby and I ran back. 
All right, back to it. I was extra careful running away this time. After some more wandering and an unwanted Dropbox notification, I saw a twig foundation on a stone base. I broke in and I began to ransack the place. I secured a furnace and I even found a building plan. And I also took some large boxes. Although the tool cupboard was unlocked, this place was cramped and it still had someone else's doors on it, so I didn't move it. I headed back home and stored the newfound loot, however it was still not safe down in that cave. And in an attempt to protect my loot, I placed down a snap trap in front of the structure. And I went back out. After what felt like an eternity of running around, I saw something unbelievable. An unlocked code lock and a sheet metal door. That was another vital item off the list. After jumping around, I realized that there was another unlocked door further inside. I wasn't able to get in due to its height, so I decided to go home and keep my items safe. In my excitement, I fell for my own trap. I gathered my loot, hit some rocks, and I built a little base. Although nobody could steal my items now, without a tool cupboard this base was vulnerable. It wouldn't survive decay for more than a couple of hours. After storing my loot, I was somewhat relieved, but still determined to figure out what the unlocked base had inside. However, on my way, I heard a noise. Another building plan. Young man, ow, that's rude. That fucking hurt. And a bow. My first weapon. Me, but man? hold on. This dude crafted this bow seconds before I killed him. If I had finished him moments earlier, I would have been left with useless wooden cloth. I was getting pretty lucky. I heard another noise outside of a base nearby, but things didn't go as smoothly as with the other guy. PvP was not easy because without bandages, I would have to wait to stop bleeding and then I could eat food which would slowly regenerate my health. After being chased for an eternity, I killed the last one. Well, I thought I did, but then I heard another noise. I was low health. It was all on the line. And I did it. Okay, no more distractions. Back to the base. I noticed it was decaying pretty badly, so if I wanted to move in, I would have to get in quick. I tried to build in, but I was unsuccessful. I was trying to figure out how to get in when I had an idea. It worked. And there it was, the tool covered. This was going to be my new home. I put the door on the front and secured the base. There wasn't any other loot in the base, but I was overjoyed nonetheless. I destroyed the sleeping bag and did some repairing on the walls. I gathered some stone for my new base and took out some arrows I had previously collected to use for my new bow. 
And I may have gotten distracted. Again. When I saw an opening, I pushed in. Mm, a little bit of loot, but footsteps too. It was unfortunate, but things were still looking up. I gathered up some of my valuables and used the cover of night to head to my new base. After fully repairing the base, I felt complete. But I was still missing one important thing. And I was growing restless. I went outside and noticed that a base had decayed nearby. Jackpot. I had a nice gear set now, and a ton more. I would have to make a couple of trips. I went back to my old base and collected some leftover loot in my door. On my way home, I saw a naked and thought about killing him. No, I have too much to risk. Turns out, he had a submachine gun. If only I could craft bandages. I was lucky that I started to run when I did. With no food left and 15 bleeding, I cut it as close as possible. I made it back home and placed my other door down. I noticed the store was selling some weapons for relatively cheap. I took out some scrap, and I bought some weapons. I also recycled some more useless components. On my way home, I heard someone running in a base, so I waited for them. Yeah, it was scummy, but when you can't craft, morals go out the window. I also repositioned an abandoned repair bench so that I had a permanent way to get into my base. I was getting pretty rich. I found another decayed base and although it didn't have much loot, I stole some of the boxes and deployables. I dropped them off and headed back up. Another bow. Okay, back out. I roamed for a while until I saw a large furnace running out in the open. I tried to sneak up. I get really jumpy when shot by turrets and I tend to freeze up. But hey, I managed to stay alive for two hours. I went home and grabbed a shotgun to see what I could pull off with it. I saw an airdrop overhead, and sure enough, it dropped right on top of me. I picked through another decayed base and found some scraps. The airdrop was going to come down right in front of a massive clan base. So, as it fell, I lined it up with their roof camper so that I could get the loot.
I have nothing on me, bro. I literally have nothing. We're naked. After evading military grade fire and securing an airdrop, I died to a naked man with an axe. Needless to say, I went to bed. But sadly, my rust character had to rest on a cold stone floor. I needed to come up with a new strategy to get a sleeping bag. I thought that if I befriended a naked, I may be able to kill them after they make a bag. I wasn't directly able to ask people to make things, but maybe I could goad him into making one and then kill him. So I set out to find a friend. Just gotta get this food without the wolf noticing. Oh Jesus. Crazy over there, huh? Oh shit. Maybe the shorts will protect me. Why are you being toxic? Don't listen there, listen, I don't want any trouble. Okay. Hey, how are you? How you doing? Where are you running to? You going to the bean store? Get some beans, cause the bean store is that way, not the other way. Okay, listen, man, listen, man. I don't know what you thought, but it was wrong. I got nothing. Do you have a metal blade on you? No, I don't. I almost gave up trying to make a friend, but then I found someone. You you wanna... uh, whatever space is over there? No, I I just talked him out of killing me. You want to play a little bit? Okay. Yo, he looks like a cow. Okay, I gotta get him to craft a sleeping bag. And then I, I'm gonna have to betray him. Oh. After he helped me up, however, I realized I couldn't do it. I'd rather sleep on the floor than sleep in a bed stained with the blood of an innocent man. Okay. What the fuck is this? How many turrets do you need? They have eight turrets in this little... Come on, guys. I came across an abandoned base, and I found a few key locks. These were pretty rare, so I was happy. Oh, and a new door. I was a long way from home, though. Listen, man, I, I don't want any trouble. I'm just trying to get to my to my house. I'll do whatever you guys need just to let me live. Thanks, guys. Uh, okay. I'll take a flame turret. I made it home in the middle of the night and put away my stuff. I went back out with the objective of killing. Then I ran into a geared guy. I pulled it off. I was much better equipped now. I saw another geared person running and I went for him. And as I was leaving, I got his friend too. Things were looking good. I went back home excited about having weapons. But then I had a visitor. Hey yo, you're the guy that uh, took my base that I uh, called out in chat, right? Yeah, yeah, this was my base. I got a new base, I moved. Did you leave so the doors no, unlocked? Just, like, um... Yeah, yeah, I left the doors unlocked. I called it out in chat. Oh. Yesterday. Yo, can you open this door? I just open this door. Can you let me in? Why would I let you in? Because this is literally my base. Well, you left it unlocked. It's not your base anymore. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. I just want to see how it's doing. You want to see how it's doing? Yeah, or can I just get some wood? Like, uh, 2k stone and 1k wood. Do you not have a base? No, I just need to uh, expand. Well, honeycomb a bit. You need to honeycomb your base? So you're coming to me? 
Let me in, let me in, let me in, please, dude, let me in, let me in, let me in, please, God, God, let me in. No, I can't do that. Or the wood. Dude, or, please, God, dude, please. I don't have 2k wood. Okay. I had a feeling I was going to be evicted soon. I noticed there was a fight going on outside, so I waited for a chance to pick someone off. I should have left my gun inside, but the excitement got to me. Another one dead. He was loaded. Oh. Never mind. He wasn't dead. On my way back, I noticed the fight was still happening. I waited in a bush and picked up some leftovers. They were nothing compared to what I could have had, though. Guys, I just realized something. You can't loot a sleeping bag out of anything, but you can loot a bed. After some quick research, I saw that a bed could be looted out of a crate with a 1% chance. It was low, but not unreasonable. So, I began searching for a bed. Nope. 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 Oh my god. That is... Funny. Nope, 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 nope. Nope, 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 nope. Nope. No. I heard some footsteps at launch site. There they were. One dead. Damn. But I got up. Not one of my proudest moments. I headed back out with a revolver. Another close one. I headed back and I found my revolver in the grass. On my way home, I heard some footsteps. And then I saw some flashlights. I had 6 bullets and 60 health to make a play. I did it, and there it was, a sleeping bag, but I was too excited to notice, and I left. I went home, put the loot away, and decided I should probably check if they have anything else left. Sleeping bag. Shit. Finally. My home was complete. I went out to Rome when I started to get shot at. 
Oh, oh, that's a no good. I tried to lure them over to me. They were coming. And they were both dead. With two bullets. I really don't think I deserve this loot. Before I got off for the night, I did some organizing. You can see how much loot I gathered over my journey. I climbed into my sleeping bag and took an overdue rest. I think I may have slept a little too hard though, because in the morning, I didn't have a bag. Hmm. I ran back to where my base was, or used to be. There was nothing left. I had been raided. Not all stories have a happy ending. If you enjoyed the video, consider leaving a like or subscribing. And if you're watching this within a few hours of upload, I'm live on Twitch. Come say hello. I hope you enjoyed.